Hey guys, so I was watching the Pro Tour and I must say that Red Deck is... There are a lot of Red Decks in uh, the Pro Tour. A lot, a lot of mono Red Decks have been doing really well. Red Deck wins, uh, Goblins, all the top 16 I believe. Ataka Red, Burn Red, Creature Based Red. I'm speechless because Red Deck wins has dominated a lot of these events. And it's kind of too fast right now. Like, first of all, I love Red Deck wins in my Friday Night Magic line where I go from no money to ma ma making a deck. Yeah, you start with a Red Deck wins, but I'm not sure that's the most fun type of deck to uh, play against or really to play with. And that's what I see as a big problem uh, with the Red Deck wins is across formats, you're doing the same repetitive motion. There's very little interactivity. Uh, I mean, yes, you gotta kill your opponent's creatures, but there's no... I don't know. It reminds me of a time where Jackal Pup was played heavily, and everyone, you either play Jackal Pup or you lose. One of the two. You play the slow combo, I, I forget what the combo was, Carnivorous Bloom combo and Prosperity, which, unless you were cheating and putting cards in your lap, I don't see how that beats Jackal Pup and burn at that point. My point being, Red Deck Wins has dominated the Pro Tour, uh, the Pro Tour Magic Origins Pro Tour. I'm watching it and every deck I see it's Red Deck Wins versus Red Deck Wins and they side into like a mirror control. They side into a uh, bigger dragon so they add their Thunder Break regions when they face other Red Decks. And then there's a Goblin deck played by someone from Japan, who, which I love, but it hasn't done well. It was shown in the camera twice and it lost both times. And then there was uh, a Talker Red and various other forms of just Red deck wins. And it gets really repetitive and gets extremely boring. I'm going to go ahead and say that watching a Red deck play another Red deck for the like 18th time that's not great magic watching, and that's not going to get people interested in magic. Um, Red Deck wins, first of all, I love the deck. I love the deck. I have a Legacy. I have it in Modern. I have it in Standard right now for my FNM Hero Project. It gets boring to play. It's one of the most boring archetypes to play. I play in Limited. I play in Draft. I play that aggro-aggressive. When I mean no interaction, I mean I'm going to tap everything to attack you and then you can determine how you want to block if there are blocks and then maybe I'll remove a block over burn spells, but it's essentially going up to 20 and the problem with that type of game is it limits the creativity of the decks like Rally. I want to play Rally. I would much rather play Abs in Control, although it is oppressive then Red Deck Wins. Red Deck Wins might be the best deck right now, but it is by far not the most fun deck, especially after about 10 times of playing the deck. And that's driving me crazy right now that I have to... I've committed myself to the FNM project for at least two months, uh, at least, you know, eight Friday Night Magics, mainly because I want to get the Path to Exile promo and then the Serum Vision promo and show you guys how to make like an abs in control. So I'm gonna shift my uh, deck, if you will, from a red deck wins, which is a deck that you we started with. Uh, $15 in, the deck looks fantastic, to be honest with you. And that, a lot of it has to do with the $8 store credit for top eight, and then the $14 store credit for top four, as well as the multiple Path to Exile promos. I'm expecting to get multiple Languish promos, if not four of those. And other various, so we're going to have a fully functional deck after game day. I'm hoping, like with sleeves, with, um, I mean, if we get game, if we get credit, I'm not going to trade a credit away anymore. I will probably just save it for sleeves and merchandise of some type. Or maybe like, I'll just buy it from Dave and Adams because I have to buy like some Inuyasha cards soon. Not have to, but I really want to because there's a, there's not that many of them. Anyway, my point is Red Deck wins probably the least fun deck in existence. And that's, this is coming from someone who only plays Red Deck wins in Draft and Limited. Or Boros or 
sometimes it's Ataka. Like I was playing, um, I was drafting, what was it? I was drafting red and, yeah, okay, at the pre-release I did red and blue. That was the aggro colors at pre-release. It's surprising that blue was an aggro color, but it was. It played as, you know, white or bor boros type. You make these creatures, you attack with these little one ones, and in that case they had flying, which was a lot easier to attack with. And then you deal some more damage, and then you burn to the face. So red deck wins, one of the better decks, one of the cheapest decks to ma uh, make. And if you're new, I recommend you make the deck pretty much on the same guidelines I'm making the deck uh, for Friday Night Magic, Friday Night Magic Lion. And you should be able to win quite a bit of games, but my gosh, it's a boring deck. It's just so boring. So do you guys play a boring deck? Uh, do you think red deck wins, you can keep playing that? Or do you feel like it is a boring deck? Do you feel like it's not a boring deck? Do you feel like a different, there's a different play style you can put into it? In my opinion, when I'm watching these games and when I play Red Deck Wins, because I've been playing for the last at least 12, no, hold on, 15 games at FNM over the span of 21 days, and then I'm going to continue to play Red Deck Wins, I, I, I want to get out of that deck right now, but I don't have the resources to do so. So, yeah. <laughs> Bye, guys.